Hi everybody. Hi. Welcome to episode four of the Twin Set and Pearl Knitting Podcast. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jo. And we're twin sisters who design together as Twin Set and Pearl. And this is our channel where we talk about our new designs and our other knitting projects and stuff we're doing lately. Yeah. Just wanted to explain <laughs> the different situation that we're filming from today. We're still at my house, um, but we're in my living room. I unfortunately have got a bad back at the moment, so I'm on the recliner, kind of yeah, lying she out. She hasn't suddenly shrunk for five no. inches. <laughs> and um, I'm, at the moment, the only positions I'm comfortable in are either lying down or standing up. I can't actually sit. So we're, we wanted to film. So we're going to do it in yeah, this way. Yeah, because this is we're not we're not sure what, exactly when we're going to get back together again. We've got a few weeks of doing other things, yeah. so we thought we'd take this opportunity just to catch up with everybody again and share where we are, what how we've got on with some of our whips, yeah. and uh, and yeah. So, For, yeah, we also wanted just to say that, um, like a lot of people, well, most of the, the rest of the world is shocked by what's going on at the moment in Ukraine. And um, it does feel odd to be podcasting about knitting when all this is going on. But we still, we wanted to, we thought maybe this would be some light relief um, for anybody who watches. And we also wanted to say that um, the knitting community has been amazing at coming up with ways to support people in Ukraine. And one of the ways that we're... Um, we, well, trying to help is by um, buying patterns from Ukrainian designers so that the money goes straight to their, into their, um, you know, straight to them and they don't have to provide anything other than the PDF that gets provided from Ravelry or wherever you find them. Yeah. So Ravelry have set up on their page, you can search by country. So we've... Actually, um, they've got a link. If you go onto their front page, if you click, there's a link that goes directly to Ukrainian yeah, designers. So you can search. And one of my whips is actually by, um, that I've been knitting for a long time. If you've, I've mentioned it on every single episode. <laughs> I still haven't finished it. But we'll talk about it again later on. But she's UK, Ukrainian and she's got some amazing patterns. Yeah, they're beautiful. So we're going to go and buy. Yeah. We, we, I think um, I'm going to try and look for a few different designers yeah, to buy so we can some from. Spread some of the money. And we're yeah. planning to spend all of the money that we've earned from our patterns this month. Um, we're going to donate in some way way shape or form yeah anyway should we having said that should we carry on with yeah on with that? so first of all what are we wearing what are you wearing well <laughs> i'm wearing my love note and this is a, a very famous pattern by tin can knits <laughs> that i think everybody or a lot of people have at least one love note i only have one um and jody and um, tracy from the grocery girls mentioned that they're doing a three-week love note cow and i was desperate to join in but i actually don't have enough mohair in my stash so and i'm not buying yarn so that it, that means no second love note for me for the minute um i might have to i may be able to get a bit creative with some um some other yarn that i have in my stash but at the moment this is um this is just the one Good for night. me and this is this is knit out of um drops alpaca and a drops gray mohair and it provide gives this kind of slightly muted that this is a really red like a bright orangey red yeah and it gives this burgundy muted um color mm -hmm. i absolutely love it it's very warm um yeah so <laughs> not ideal for every I situation but today is perfect i've knitted four love notes um, three for me and one for a little girl and I do love it I'm also tempted but my mohair stash is quite oh I always seem to buy two balls of mohair not yeah which you isn't need, in, you need in enough, four yeah not enough so me. we'll have to wait and see what happens but I'm not buying yarn so no um, I'm wearing another tin can knits pattern this is um, flax light which is the four ply version of their kind of famous raglan it's a free pattern yeah, flax. on ravelry and i modified it i didn't do the garter down the stripe down the arm down the sleeve and i 
put in this um, kind of neon rainbow and I'm wearing it today because I'm feeling really spring, like spring is in the air. And these are, this is drops, the grey is drops, um, baby merino, I think, sport, what's this, like a sport weight four ply. And the neons are um, Vicky Brown Designs minis. I used to subscribe to her mini club um, for about a year and then I had so many minis mm -hmm. <laughs> that I wasn't doing anything with that I stopped subscribing. But I do, um, I love this, these colours. So yeah, making me feel yeah. happy today. We don't, well, they we're both wearing the same designers, but we don't really go, but we never don't mind. Match, no. no. It's fine. We don't <laughs> that, do we? No, we don't. Right, so. So next we're going to talk about our FOs. Go on then. So my first FO is also a Tin Can Knits <laughs> design. It's from their book, um, Strange, Strange Brew, Brew, which is a recipe book for um, round yoked um, colourwork sweaters. I haven't done a colour sweater. I've done a very plain little baby sweater, but I used all the numbers from their rag from their round yoke pattern. That's so cute. To create this. Um, this is the naught to six month um size. And it literally took me a day and a half, two evenings to wow. knit. Um it's so quick. It's knit in drops bell which I think is a double knitting yeah. cotton linen mix. Should have brought the label, didn't bring the label. Um, <laughs> and I did it knit it slightly shorter. Um, it's meant to be five and a half inches plus an inch and a half of rib. And I did four inches and an inch of rib because I want to buy a little dress, cotton dress. Very um, cute for this to go to go and I thought a short sleeve would mean that they could they maybe could wear it possibly for a bit longer than the six months yeah. and um, I'm going to buy some long sleeve tops for, for the baby to have um, to go with it so this is for my my friend's baby Molly um, and I've got to meet cat, catch up with her soon so um, so yeah oh. so that's the first one and my next FO should I talk about my next one or do you want to talk about your next one? Um, your, one your first one. Please. Well, is that not a new design? Kind is of. That... Go on then. You, you go next. So I forgot last time to show you my um, design for the Botanical Yarns Sock Club, which is so Feb the February ones. And so these are my Pink Haze um, socks that um, I designed to go with this beautiful tonal, slightly speckled pink yarn, um, yarn that Sophie dyed up. So they've got, this is a twisted stitch pattern um, and it was inspired by a pink iris called Pink Haze. And yeah, so okay. that's the pattern that you get with the subscription. Um, you, you can't get the pattern for another six months, I'm afraid, from if you don't buy the subscription, but it will be out later in the year. So I good. love the way that the 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 two by two rib goes into into the pattern. Yeah, and they fit really so well because nice. they're yeah. the two by two rib sock really fits the foot well. Yeah, and the yarn the yarn is beautiful too. Let's get a close up of the yarn. Beautiful. And then I've got one more, which is on design. So these were my so I've mentioned before that I'm doing a self striping sock every month. To use up some of my stash and I've just realized there's ends still to be woven inside <laughs> um, and these were my feb ones for February and this is London House yarn in the baby shower colorway which was given to me by my lovely friend Maggie and I knitted my open hands open hearts sock um, design which was I designed as a charity pattern for treasure chest YGC. It looks really good on the self striping. It does, thing. doesn't it? And I this time I didn't do it on the back. So in, in the original pattern, the um, lace patterns repeated on the back, but on these ones because I knew with the self striping that I wanted to put in an afterthought heel, which is um, and this was this is the Caris colorway by Bird Street Yarn, which goes really well with the mauve and mauvey pink in the self striping. 
So I finished those on the last day of February. And the marked ones are my in my whips when we talk about whips. Cool. So should we and talk my... about do you want to talk about should we talk about FO that FO and then uh, and new designs at the same time? If you've got more. Um the only other one is the progress on that shawl. Right. Um, well, we can talk about this now. Yes. Yeah. So this is my FO. Um I showed I showed the beginning of it last time. Um, it's the crest, we're going to call it the crest bandana cowl. So it's the Morton Street cowl shape with the crest of a wave lace Beautiful. on it. I love um, it. I've designed it so that the lace is repeated twice on each side and it's a mirror image on each side. So you get this like le almost like a leaf pattern down the middle, down the middle of the of each side. And then down the front of the cowl, you get, it's almost like your open heart. Yeah. It's almost like that. You get this like can you try it scallop. On so I can see what it yeah. is. Yeah. And it's knit <laughs> in a merino silk. So it's nice and drapey. Oh, beautiful. And it, it's going to be a present for my friend in Australia. Um, it's um, one of those yarns where they, one end has got, um, so it's not, it's almost stripy, but not quite. Right. It's got one end that's really, so it's mostly the blue and then it's got this white end with the speckles, green and purple and yellow. And there's a tiny bit of pooling, but I think it looks really like, almost like tie dye. Yeah. I really like it. So um, hopefully my friend will like it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this pattern, I'm in the process of writing it up. And as soon as it's written up, it will be available on Ravelry to join in the, uh, our Crest Cow. So we're hoping that by the beginning of April. Yes, we? and then you'll there'll be a code for you to get it free to join in the cow. So, nice. um, so yeah. Are you like that? I'm going to have to finish my. I'm going to have to finish my cow so I can cast on one of those. <laughs> right. So oh. that's and that's uh, that's a new design. Yeah. Well, so my, um, so at the moment I don't. I think we did mention it last time. Um, the all of my Bridgerton sock patterns are buy one get one free on Ravelry using the code Bridgerton two four one because at the end of this well twenty fifth of March Bridgerton season two starts on Netflix. And Bridgerton season two sock collection starts on Ravelry. <laughs> the other day I was watching, I rewatched Bridgerton. Well, I've almost finished. I've started rewatching season one so that I could remember what was right. going on. And I was wearing the Duke socks while I watched <laughs> the Duke. And I was like, oh, this is just, you know, <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> yeah, so this season, the main character, well, the, the story is about Anthony and his... Anthony he's the Viking, isn't he? Yeah, he's the, the, the oldest, eldest Bridgerton. Bridgerton so. so the first sock, so this is a sneak peek of the first sock pattern that will be coming out on the 25th of March. And these are the Anthony socks. And you can see they've got a lovely cable, quite a unisex pattern. Um, these are in Just Rust from Bird Street Yarn which is beautiful and they were this classic, sample was actually knitted classic. by um maggie my wonderful pre friend and <laughs> pre-test knitter yeah she's tests all my patterns for me so this is actually in testing with a bigger test group at the moment and will be out on the 25th of march cool and there will be a discount code then so and i'm also trying I've le i'm learning how to create an ebook on Ravelry, so all the patterns. There'll be there'll be one for season one and one for season, season two, two. Hopefully, if I can work out, I can work out how to do it, and they're new, but I haven't worked out how to do how yeah, to add old ones. ones. So I am. If anyone knows how to do it, they can DM me, help me out. <laughs> um, yeah. So those are cool. my that's the Anthony sock new design. Thank you. Cool for doing my modelling for me. Yeah. <laughs> right. So next is whips. Whips. Is it? Yeah. So you go first. I have oh, oh a new design. Are we going to talk about? 
Can I talk about this? Yeah, talk about that. So I've, so we've shown this before. Rachel's wearing it on the first podcast, I think. This is my shawl disco bunny. And um, I've written up the pattern. And this week I'll be putting out a call for um, a test for testers. Mm, um, so nice. it's a an asymmetric triangle shawl with um, a sort of peacock feather and fan type lace on it and um, sequin sparkles. But you could do that in a mohair contrast or any any kind of stellina, stellina or any kind of um, contrast that you'd like. So I'm going to be putting out a test call on Instagram this week. Um, if anybody's interested in that. Right, so this, I've got a few whips, um, I've got a few which whips I, well. I haven't brought with me because I haven't worked on Amethyst Glow, your Twitter test. I'm, I've been doing lots of secret knitting um, because there's a few things going on behind the scenes that I can't share. And, um, I don't know what, and I'm, oh, I'm missing a gift for a friend who watches the podcast, so... I won't be, I'm not going to be showing that, but I can show you a bit more um, work that I've done on my shawl that I'm designing using the Wool Kitchen oh, um, yarn. So this is the yarn that um, the lovely Helen from the Wool Kitchen um, gifted me to design with. Um, this is her, their uh, merino um, fingering weight, and this is called Grey Matter. And then the mohair is called incandescent. Beautiful. And it's like a neony pastel. It's beautiful. Um, and this is the shawl design so far. Let's get it a little bit untangled. So you've got three balls of yarn on the Got three balls of yarn on the go, yeah. And the cable's massive as well. But it starts with a garter and twisted stitch edge and then goes into this coloured section where you join the mohair in to these triangles garter stitch triangle, um, reverse stockinette triangles, um, and then a plain section of, of um, reverse stockinette triangles. So this is going to be the main bulk of the shawl, will look like this, um, but along here when you wear it, you'll have this. Oh, beautiful. So that, that, there's that bit's the bit that's going to just keep growing. And the yeah. Stay the same. Yeah. Oh, I like so your, you'll have the, I like your progress keeper as well. Yeah. The progress keeper is a little, um, one of those little, glass globes of sparkly stars <laughs> um i like to match my progress to <laughs> my project <laughs> who'd have thought that yeah so um so yeah so that's growing a bit it's ha not had it's had some love obviously since the last podcast because there was no there was no but we're up to here on the last one <laughs> um but i've had to put it on hold while i got a few other things worked through so but i absolutely love it and um it's, it's quite beautiful. quite addicting so um, hopefully other people are going to love it as well. I've noticed there's quite a lot of triangles around in people's designs. Um, it's funny, isn't it, how um, as designers we we have so many original designs, but there seems to be a theme yeah. theme going in. When are you aiming for this to be? Um, I'd like this to go to testers by the end of April, I think. Oh. I need to give Helen some not notice before it goes is actually released so that mm. she can like get some kits dyed up and stuff but, um, but yeah I think yeah. that's um, coming on nicely cool what have you got to talk about next well I have lots of socks oh I could talk about my cowls did I bring the did I bring the other one what's as well? the other one what's oh we that? can talk about the crest of a wave which it's in um my woolen flower. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my, I'll show you what progress I've made on my Morton Street cowl. So I have, I feel like I've knitted quite a lot on this, but it doesn't seem that hugely big. Um, mine's, well, I didn't do a swatch or anything. So it's a bit more dense than um, Joe's mohair version. But I love it. Shall I get near the Yeah, it's done in lace weight held double with in Chester yarns and it's got um silver stellina. I think it's silver. Yeah. Yeah. Um 
you can and see it's so it's, it's lovely and soft and I'm just going to keep going until I think it's long enough it's obviously um difficult to actually see what it's going to look like that's the front yeah you get this you get this really nice um kind of yeah what would you call that? like a herringbone yeah almost and yeah so it will be like that won't it up the nose and then the back um but it kind of hangs like this because that bit goes ah, on your back on the back yeah. anyway anyway <laughs> i'm just keeping going doing a bit how every much day. yarn have you got left I've got lots left all oh, right i just so, keep going yeah these. well if you weigh if you get go a bit, bit more and then weigh it weigh how long it takes how much it takes to do a row yeah so i can work out for the border yeah yeah so that borders 15 rows, I think. So this is a bit of kind of like all the cowls. So shall I talk about mine? Have you got more to talk about? No. About? So for our um, cowl that we're running at the moment, with Knit Along, which is the Crest of a Wave cowl, which you can knit any either of our um, Crest of a Wave patterns. So we've got a cowl and a shawl. Um, and and we talk the about new one it, will be coming in. Yeah, we talk about it um, in more detail in the last episode. Mm -hmm. But I showed the yarn I was going to um, knit mine in, which is Blue Iguana by Bird Street Yarn. And I've obviously wound the yarn up. <laughs> and I cast on and I'm um, obviously knitting the cowl. And I'm just taking it slowly. I'm trying to do a, a repeat a day. So it'll take me and then the rib take me about two weeks to knit it so I'm, i haven't posted any pictures yet on the cat on the forum which is we've had quite we've had a few posts which is mm. um, exciting for us yeah. to <laughs> starting our ravelry group um so go and check it out we'll put a link in the um show notes to the ravelry group and at the moment we've just got a chatter thread where people are talking about the yarn they're using and showing their pictures and then in a couple of weeks i'll open up a fo yeah. thread and the cowl runs until the end of June. And this pattern is always free on Ravelry. Um, but the shawl pattern is free until the end of June using the code CREST KAL. And um, yeah, so join in, show us what yarn you want to use and stuff. It's really exciting yeah. seeing everyone's Crest of the Waves. Lots of people have downloaded it. So we're hoping that lots yeah. of people are going to join in. And also, um, you can um, post on Instagram using the the hashtag CrestCalFO when you finished or CrestCal just to chat, just to show what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and we will pick prizes. Um, we've had one prize, haven't we, sent so far? Yeah. Did you bring it with you? I thought it was me. We might as well show it now because we yeah. haven't... Um, this is We're talking about the cow. So. <laughs> yeah. So um, the lovely Emma from um, Elden Wood Crafts sent me a parcel in the week um and so um, a big thank you to emma she's having an update later in the month and this bag project bag is from her new collection oh, and good. the fabric is absolutely beautiful now it was wrapped up so lovely in this beautiful tissue so she really like you know when you when you get a parcel from mm -hmm. her it'll be really, really lovely so i've kept that to put it back in but it won't be as lovely as when it arrived apologies <laughs> Um, but this is the lovely bag oh, it's and it's this woodland, woodland oh, creatures and the, there's oh. a little owl down here. It's really cute. And butterflies and, there's a, you know, there's something there that looks cute. A little bit of a little yeah, bird. Yeah, a little bird. And it's got a pocket inside and a carry strap. And it's, it's drawstring. It's lying, yeah, it's drawstring and it's lined with this lovely plain greeny oh. sage fabric. And it's just beautiful. So thank you very much, Emma. That's very generous of you. And I'm quite excited. It's our first prize for yeah. the cow. So, uh, you know, download a free pattern. Knit, join in. Join in. Knit, a, knit uh, I don't know, even if you, you know, present or keep it for yourself, whatever. And yeah. you get a chance to win the project bag. We're hoping that we might, well, we will have a few more prizes. Yeah, so we're going to, we'll link em, um, Emma's shop. 
in the show notes yeah. and um, check her out her email um, her Instagram and she's got a newsletter so you know when her um, yeah her, when her project, project bags are really up. in yeah. demand aren't they so. yeah so she does some project bags with a big sheep on like a sheep's face and they just go like that so knowing getting onto her newsletter and knowing when they're coming is uh, yeah, is a really good thing to do yeah so my next whip, what other whips have I got? Oh yeah, let's talk about that first. And let's take a look. And then oh, and I, in there? that's my dream knitting. Right, okay. What was, I can't move, so anything oh, I've got the over thing here, here then? It's fine, we'll just talk about it. I was going to show the little flyer thing. That oh, right, okay, fine. fine. Anyway, I didn't show this last time because I hadn't made that much progress. I haven't made that much progress this yet again, but I thought I would show it. Um, finish the sleeve? I finished the sleeve in the second episode. <laughs> so yeah, the problem is that I'm designing many, many, many pairs of socks at the moment. Um, so occasionally I get to knit a bit on this sweater and I have managed to do this much of the body. So it's getting there. And I think I've just lost loads of stitches. Right, you carry on talking. I'll so this is the sweater. It's called the Smugged sweater s-m-a-r-a-g-d pullover by svetlana volkova and she's a ukrainian designer who has many beautiful patterns on ravelry so uh, we will link or everything we talk about all the patterns will be linked down below so that way you can you'll be able to link to this pattern or link to this pattern but you'll be able to go and look at everything else in her shop very easily yeah and I'm knitting this in Lang Alpaca. It's so soft. Super light. And it's merino, alpaca, and nylon. And it is beautiful. So I'm. It's going to be very gonna, warm though, isn't am it? Am I going to say this now? I'm going to finish it by next podcast. We've definitely got at least three weeks. I'll so give it a good go. I'll, I'll at least I'll be on the last sleeve. Um, on the second, the last sleeve. You need to, do, you need to finish sleeve. it fairly soon because I think it's going to be too warm to wear yeah. if, you, if you don't. Well, it's going to be a forever jumper. So, yeah. Right, final whip, and we wanted. To, I wanted to talk about this. I'm not going to show the pattern, the design because it is a design. It's a sock that I'm designing for Sophie from Botanical Yarns kickstarter campaign so sophie's running a kickstarter at the moment that runs for most of march i think it finishes just before the end of march yeah, like the 30th of and march. she's trying to raise twenty seven thousand eight hundred pounds to buy a van um and convert it into a yarn shop slash place to stay when she's at shows and it's going really well at the moment she's funded she's got 60 percent of the amount but she only gets it if she manages to raise all of the money so um okay, so check out botanical yarn on instagram, instagram. and she's got um little like um reels lives whatever you call them um talking about it talking about all it all, telling all about it um, and there's links within her stories to the kickstarter um there's loads of lovely um patterns that you can only get through the Kickstarter, mm -hmm. she's dyed fade sets, she's dyed um, colours just for the Kickstarter, plus there's mm -hmm. bags and yeah, things she's and had stickers. She's had fabric designed specific just for the, for the Kickstarter and yeah it's amazing the amount of work she's got she's done. Anyway, one of the stretch goals because every time she reaches so many thousand pounds she can release another set of rewards or um and um one of them is that she's going to dye self-striping yarn if she gets there so i've designed a sock for her self-striping yarn so i just wanted to show you i'm not going to show you the design but this is one of the colorways and it's a three color stripe and it's beautiful i don't know it's not particularly particularly good lighting I see, but i can see more of them three colours. I can see two colours there. Right. That pink to me looks like it's got two two tones yeah. to it. And then that's the, this is the sock set you get in the mini with it. But it's beautiful. 
and I can't wait to show you the design <laughs> but stay tuned yeah so she's got four different she's tied up four different mm -hmm. um, or yeah. three, three or four different self-striping yarns so go and check her out and let's get her to yeah the, her goal her so goal. that we can have lots of self-striping yarn and other lots of other beautiful things but I'm excited about the self-striping mm -hmm. yarn right so we've got one acquisition Position. and then dream knitting okay so have you got some blank dream knitting? I've got some dream knitting okay brilliant I've got dream knitting should we do the acquisition yeah first? let's do the acquisition first so we keep going on about it Did you just knock the table yes sorry there's we're not buying yarn so instead no. <laughs> um you may have been may have seen these on I'm not sure who the original um, ones were made by. The Knitting Barber. Right, Knitting Barber. So they're these um, cords that you can um, use to put your knitting on to try mm. to try on um, your sweater as you're going along. And this version is from the from Beautiful Knitters, which is a shop in Pimlico in London by the lovely Karen and they come in this little tin and there's um, two different cords I think there's only two each bun one each no it must be two look there's two yeah. I think it's one long one and two shorter ones and then you get these um, claspy things to you push them through and then they stay in place so you can put your sleeves on hold or whatever and they were a bit of a bargain. And I bought you some too. Yes, you did. Because I'm such much. a lovely sister. That was my surprise when I turned up this morning. So mm -hmm. we've got... So I'm going to try on my new sweater. Try on my sweater. Perfect. You'll have to let us know yeah, how they are. they're like. So I think you just... There's like a... It's like a hollow cord. And you push your needle in. And then you can slide your stitches really easily onto yeah. it. And it apparently is amazing compared to adding in a cord or putting them on waste yarn or whatever. Yeah, because I usually I usually just add I've got like a little connector thing for my cords. Yeah. So I add my cords together, but it is really awkward because you can't. It's difficult to actually twist twist it. them yeah. the right way to get them to stay without having a snag when you try and pull your stitches yeah. over it so that's um so hopefully that's um i've also got some leather ones from coco knits mm -hmm. where you have to twist the needle onto the end of it oh is that a bit awkward and it's a little bit awkward they work fine but the leather grips the stitches a bit ah. so in a way it's good because they don't fall off right but it'd be interesting to see oh is that for actually leaving your sleeves on hold or something yeah right so this is, I think these are mainly for trying on. Yeah, but. be interesting to see how I compare the two, yeah. two things together. Yeah. Right, so dream knitting is the last thing. I didn't bring, a, I didn't, non, well, the last few times we've had another design, but I didn't bring any no. today. Um, so yeah, so you want to go first? Yes. Oh my God. So oh, I... Your bag matches your jumper. Oh yeah, look, it's my yarnicorn. Well, almost, you haven't got any orange. Yarnicorn bag from Stitcher Tees. So I, um, at the moment, Andrew Mary is running a, her make -a May to, March to May make along, knit along. And I really wanted, I wanted for years to knit a birds of a feather. Well, this week I cast one on and I hated it. Sorry, Andrea. Um, it really wasn't the pattern for me. Um, and I was, I'm using, so I had this drops mohair and this yarn, which I dyed myself. So it's got green and purple speckles on a lilac-y background. And I love it. In fact, here's the, the other skein. So I had two skeins of it that I dyed. And I cast on and I hated it. So it's going to be something else. And I would really like it to be a love note, but I've only got two 
strings of this. So, would it, could what do you a, think? Could it be a cropped? I think it could be a cropped, cropped short, short sleeve. sleeve. I'm going to give it a go. I think I've got another bit of a ball somewhere. Right. So I'm going to do it. Go for it. I'm going to go for it. Even though I've got no right to casting on anything else because I have still got that sweater on my needles. But this will be a spring. So you're now not joining in the Andrea Mowry No, one, but I'm going to... But you could do the grocery girls. Yeah. Three, love note in three weeks. Yeah. Except I've got about six pairs of socks to knit as well. That's I okay. think you can do it. I think you can do a love note. In a, I have to say that the last, in a weekend the last know, few, yeah. the last few weeks, couple of weeks, I my knitting mojo has been quite. I've been in quite a lot of pain, um, and on drugs. Yeah, and haven't been able to <laughs> knit too much. But the self stripe, so Sophie's self striping yarn has, I think, invigorate might be too strong a word, but it's definitely. Spurred perked. Me, yeah, perked, perked up, up my interest, interest to, um, and I only cast those on yesterday, so yeah, it's been great. So yeah, so that's my dream. Well, it's not really dream knitting because I'm going to cast it on this afternoon. Woo! <laughs> Woo Don't be too excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to take part in the Andrea Mary May, March to May make along mm -hmm. i may not be starting till april but yeah i'm going to do the daydreamer which is this um cable design and i'm going to knit it in debbie bliss find on a goal in this blue color which is called moy and the number is m-o-y moy and the number's 34 and i got this in a Knit, was it knit? I got it from. I don't know. Mm. It, they had uh, if you bought ten balls, you got an offer. Was it knit with a double two, two T's? Double T, possibly. Um, and I bought five of each, five of two different colourways. Um, so that this is what I'm going to knit that in. Oh, but I'm going to finish. I've got two or three things to finish first. Mm. So I've got a pattern to finish for Sophie's Kickstarter. Uh, I've got the secret knitting, two patterns to finish for that, and the pressed bandana cowl pattern to, to do. So yeah, so there's a few things to do in before the end of March. And then yeah. I'm going to Scotland um, the last weekend in March. So I might cast this on for my for my trip. That'd be nice. Yeah, but then cool. you know, I might just take something small because, yeah, but well, you could take something small as well. Just yeah, take your other Bridgerton sock that you've never <laughs> finished. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. So, yeah, so, um, have we got anything else to talk about? Probably not. What are you going to be doing this week? This week, what am I doing this week? This week, I'm Going to the hospital to see about my back. Hopefully, get some answers to why I'm in so much pain. Um, and then next week, the week after, I've got an operation on my head, so I'm going for COVID test. Those are the two out outings I have planned. <laughs> um, but hopefully, by the end of March, I will be healthy and good sorted out. Um, and apart from that, I think I'm probably going to be knitting sacks or love note. That's mm. exciting. Um, yeah, so that just to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed. Uh, we've been we're amazed that m more people are subscribing to our channel. We really enjoy podcasting and um, we hope that you enjoy our what we talk about. <laughs> Um, so like and subscribe um, and join in the cow and go and have a look at our Ravelry group and see what you think. And next time, hopefully you'll be back in the kitchen. 
Um, yeah. I definitely feel a bit more, um, I don't know whether the word animated is correct, but sitting on the sofa kind of gives me a different vibe. Yeah. And I don't know if I like well, it. Well, lying down. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like it. But hopefully, you know, I mean, I don't want you to be in, any, in pain any longer than you need to be. So yeah. uh, hopefully they sort you out and um, be back in the kitchen. Back in the kitchen in the with a bit more light and yeah. whatever. But yeah, cool. Thank you very so, much, everybody. Yeah, have a good few weeks. We'll be back in April now, yeah. hopefully. And. Um, and in April, we might even film on location. Well, the end of April, we're going on holiday together. Yeah. We're going to, um, with our husbands as well. We're going to Tenerife. Um, so that'll be exciting. Yeah. We can see what knitting we can take with us to Tenerife and talk about. But I think it's going to be Amethyst Glow. Yeah. It's going to come with me to Tenerife, try and get that done. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody, and we'll uh, yeah before we see start waffling on. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.